The latest version of vSAN brings enhancements to the resilience of two node clusters for edge use cases. The vSAN two node host mirroring storage policy protects data against drive and disk group failures. vSAN two node clusters can also maintain data access even if a physical host is offline and the witness host fails. Let's take a closer look at these improvements. Here we see a two node cluster and its witness host. Each physical host currently has two disk groups. When the vSAN default storage policy is assigned to a virtual machine, the data is mirrored across hosts to maintain data accessibility when a host is offline. One copy of an object's data is stored on a disk group in each host. A witness component is placed on the witness host to maintain quorum. If a disk group containing the object's data fails, access to the data is maintained if the other mirror and the witness components are accessible. Some workloads might require a higher level of resilience against drive and disk group failures. The latest version of vSAN includes the two-node host mirroring storage policy. Use of this policy requires at least three disk groups per host. Data is mirrored within each host and across hosts. In this example, we see there are two copies of the object's data and a witness component distributed across the three disk groups in each host. A witness component is also maintained on the vSAN witness host. Witness components are used to maintain quorum and resolve split brain issues. They are only a few megabytes in size. When a drive or disk group failure occurs, objects with the two-node host mirroring policy assigned remain accessible on both hosts. While this approach does consume more raw storage capacity, keep in mind storage policies can be assigned to individual virtual machines and even virtual disks as needed. This makes it easy for a vSphere administrator to balance resilience and capacity consumption on a per VM basis. Another enhancement comes at the cluster level. A vSAN two-node cluster maintains data accessibility if there is a witness host failure while one of the physical hosts are offline. Let's look at an example. Here we see a two-node cluster that is in need of routine maintenance. We place one of the hosts into maintenance mode to begin. A few moments later, the witness host goes offline without warning. Note that the virtual machines continue to run as they still have access to their virtual disks. We take a closer look at the console of one of the VMs and see that it is still running. At this point, we would take the host out of maintenance mode and work on bringing the witness host back online before proceeding with the maintenance. As we just saw, vSAN two-node clusters provide a high level of resilience at both the virtual machine and host levels while minimizing costs. Storage policies are used to balance redundancy and capacity consumption on a per VM basis. Two-node clusters maintain data access even if connectivity to the witness host is lost while one of the physical hosts are offline. This combination of VMware HCI features makes vSAN two-node clusters an ideal solution for edge use cases.